This is the news on newsbreak.ng. The Igbo Elders Consultative Forum says the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunubu is unwell and may die in Asorok if he emerges victorious in the 2023 presidential election. In his statement issued Tuesday night, the chairman of IECF and former governor of Anambra State, Dr. Chukwemeka Izeifi, said that only those who were not well informed or had lost their sanity would vote for Tunubu, a former governor of Lagos State. His principal, Jagaban Tunubu, is really not well. Only people who are not well informed or have lost sanity will vote for him to go and die in Asorok, Izeifi in a statement read. Izeifi was responding to a recent media report that stated that the Igbo Elders Consultative Forum, which he chairs, had been severely divided about two weeks after his visit to APC vice presidential candidate Kashim Shetima. Recalled two weeks ago, Izeife paid a visit to the APC's vice presidential candidate Kashim Shetima, sparking speculation that the IECF may have adopted the APC presidential ticket. According to reports, the visit caused the IECF to splinter. Although Izeife claimed in a statement titled Why I Went to Shetima that the trip was not political but rather commercial in nature. Yes, I went uninvited to Shetima. I was accompanied by a mid-degree born and brought up businessman of Southeast Extraction. Why? More than a year ago, a well-built young man came to my office in Abuja crying desperately. He talked like someone considering suicide. He told me that he was finished, that the clothes on him were the only property left for him. He inherited a hotel from his father and built two more hotels by himself. All three hotels and a warehouse were bulldozed by the Bonu State's government, the estatement by Ezeife for that read. His other properties were also seized. He had helped the campaign efforts of the current Bonu State governor. He also bought a bus for the campaign. He was directed to come and see me. I made efforts to see the Bonu State governor but did not succeed. Recently, the young man rushed to my office and told me that Shetima, who handed it over to the current governor, can influence him to listen to his case and do some justice. He told me that if I met Shetima and pleaded with him, the problem would be solved. He added that Shetima was in town that day. That if we went, we would meet him at his Abuja residence. As he saw it, my meeting with Shetima would end his frustration, suffering and threat to his life. I did not give it a second thought because the young man spoke from the depth of his heart. I jumped into the car with him and we headed to where he knew Shetima was. Shetima received me with great respect and did not keep me waiting too long before calling me in for discussion. I pleaded with Shetima to appeal to his successor for some justice to be done to the businessman. He listened carefully and I was amazed by his positive responses which included a commitment to help the businessman directly by himself if the governor does not do enough. I was elated and I thanked him profusely, the statement added. Many political observers have deemed Tinubu unfit since they think the former Lagos governor is too old to run the nation's affairs. Members of the APC, however, have persisted in refuting allegations that Tinubu is ill. For more news updates, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell button so that you can be notified every time we post a new video.